to continue and save the presence check validation that we entered earlier. We close the table. It says, do you want to save changes to the design of the table volunteer? We made some changes. Yeah, we entered the presence check. And we say yes. It says then, data integrity rules have been changed. Existing data may not be valid for the, ne for the new rules. This process may take a long time. Do you want the existing data to be tested for the new rules? Just say no. And then if we open the volunteer table, the presence check validations for mobile phone down here, you see validation text, validation rule, validation rule, validation text are there. Now let's move on to the next one. It says a record will not save if the volunteer mobile number is not in the correct format. So we have to enter that on top of the validation that we've entered above, yeah? Because there's only one valid uh, validation field. So let's go to the volunteer mobile number. And since we're adding another validation on that, we say and like. That's the way to do the formatting, yeah? and like. You don't need to say is like, you just say and like. Whereas if you put uh, the not null value, you have to say uh, is not null. Yeah, You have to learn these by heart. If we go to the database, we see that the mobile numbers are digits and it's eight of them. So if we want to match, first of all, the format here, we have to find a symbol um, that corresponds to digits as well as we need eight of them, yeah? Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these digits. So basically, uh, we continue the validation is not null and like the wild card or the character that we use for numbers for digits in programming and coding is basically um, the hash key. If you open your browser and find wild cards that can be used uh, in access, whether that's queries or other areas. Basically you will get uh, the hash key matches any single numeric character. Yeah, So one hash key stands for one numeric character. Here we have eight. So for instance this is this is basically written here as wildcard characters that you use uh, in queries but here we use it in our validation. Yeah, So here we have eight characters, hash keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because we have like in front of it, always, when you have like, always use, remember to use the uh, double quotes, there and there. If you don't put them, let's see if Access manages to put them itself. Let's see, click somewhere else. It, it says that the expression you entered has an invalid data value. So basically say, okay, it's this, the problem is here. And it is about the double quotes. We're using shift two to get the double quote. And now that corresponds to this re requirement here. A record will not save if the volunteer mobile number is not in the correct format. So because it's validation, we have to enter as I repeated earlier, we have to put this in the validation rule and we have to adapt now the validation text because we've got two validations here is not null from the previous uh, lesson and like eight digits uh, long eight digits long in the format of digits that's the most important thing yeah but you have to put eight of them because otherwise you will have issues with entering the phone number anyway so it says please enter a phone number now you have to tell them as well what kind of a phone number because you've got this with or oh, say eight 
digit long yeah now if we save this um, the process may take a long time data integrity uh, rules have been changed existing data may not be valid for the new rules so the data that you have already in the table may not be valid for this so basically do you want the existing data to be tested just say no the volunteer table we can open it now in data sheet view so open or remember we can just double click remember this is data sheet view and we will enter a number first of all we'll put letters yeah click somewhere else you must please enter phone number eight digits long you could make this even more better English than this yeah please enter a phone number eight digits long we we'll say okay to that let's put eight letters one two three four five six seven eight let's see if it works yeah it doesn't work let's put now less than eight le uh, numbers so one two three four five six it still comes up so if we do another two it should be okay but let's put over it doesn't allow you now you see you know why so now I had accepted it because if you remember in a uh, design view so let's just get out of this press the escape button always press the escape button and get out of this go to the design view because we've entered uh, the, the field size it doesn't allow you to go beyond 8 otherwise if you change this to 10 to 12 for instance and you go back to data sheet view uh, you can enter more we put 12 there let's put 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now if we th the problem here it's uh, it allowed us to enter 10 because we changed the field size but this comes up because we've only put eight hash keys on the uh, validation code yeah so now we need to deduct a couple and it will accept it now if we click somewhere else you must enter a surname that's the other validation you see now you have to put something so you put Clark so now it will accept the the record then you can yeah and you can save the database with that record find the bold arrow and then right click and say delete record yeah and then close the database and that concludes this video tutorial and we'll move on to the next requirement